Hello, and welcome to 10 Minute Masterpiece, where I show you how to sketch masterpieces in just 10 minutes. Let's get started. Today, we're going to be drawing Leonardo da Vinci's classic, The Mona Lisa. Now, before you start, it's important to have a clean workspace to have all the right tools. You can't draw your own personal masterpiece if you don't come prepared. I'm using a simple 0.5 millimeter pencil on a thick paper notebook. So let's begin. To capture the Mona Lisa, you need to use small brush strokes, as the Italian artist did at the time. The forehead comes down in a nice curve. Just starting with the outline of the face. We will add more detail later, of course. Just capture the essence of the drawing. That is our goal right now. Perfect. Next, you want to start on the eyes. Of course, the Mona Lisa famously does not have eyebrows. So what you want to start with is the general shape of the eyes. And to capture that, I recommend a small pair of scissors for the outline. Put your pair of scissors where you want your eyes. And just do a small outline over the correct spot. It'll create the perfect eye shape for your Mona Lisa. Adjust your compass to the correct size. Put it on the corner of the eye. And start a simple oval shape. Fantastically done. Now that you have the pupil sketched out, Let's move on to the nose of the Mona Lisa, which is, of course, a perfect shape that we can capture with a weak old banana. What you want to do is place the banana between the eyes and just sketch the outline of the banana. You can pick up a banana at any farmer's market or grocery store for around two dollars. Flip the banana over and continue the outline of the nose. Wonderful. Now, of course, we're just getting the basic outline of the Mona Lisa's face. So let's move on to the mouth. The mouth, of course, famously, is modeled after the outline of a shark. So we're going to need your shark stuffed animal now. So just bring the stuffed animal in, place your pencil along the edge, and trace. fascinating. Now, we're not quite done with the eyes yet. We want some more detail. So take your chicken, your small chicken, and you're going to use the feet of the chicken to add additional detail inside the pupils of the eyes. Now just outline the feet of the chicken and you'll get a perfect recreation of Da Vinci's original work. Let's move on to the other eye. Remember, the small brush strokes, very carefully done. You 
will have a flawless recreation of this priceless work. Next, you're going to want to capture the hair of the Mona Lisa. Now, Mona Lisa's hair is famously frizzy and curly, off to the sides, part of the middle. So for this purpose, we're going to use a fork, place it down near the top of the forehead, put your pencil between the forks, parts here, and just sketch, and in no time at all. And she famously quoted forks as his primary medium while creating many of his works. And that was not recently discovered till his journals came to light in the late 1800s. Let's continue with the other side. Remember to make the hair part in the middle. The hair is definitely the most lengthy process of recreating the Mona Lisa in just 10 minutes. Your Mona Lisa should be taking shape, taking form, should be very recognizable. Absolutely wonderful. Next, we're going to need to add detail to the cheekbones. For this, take out your bomber action figure from the newest release, The Hobbit, and place it on the cheeks of the Mona Lisa. Now, any action figure, of course, from The Hobbit will do, but Bomber is, of course, the most round and most suited to the face of the Mona Lisa. Remember to keep your bomber still and steady while you trace the outlines. This is, of course, Bomber the Dwarf, the clicks action figure, which is used for tabletop games. You can purchase one at any Wizards of the Coast or any fine art stores around your local You can either choose to reuse, reuse your banana, but if you want a more accurate depiction, take out your fish sculpture, place it down, connecting to the head of the Mona Lisa, and once again, just trace the outline. Your pencil should catch the gills to create the shirt. it down along the fins. Perfect. And now the other side. Starting at the eye of the fish and moving down to the fins and the rest of the fish body. Absolutely wonderful. As you can see, we're almost done with our recreation, our own 10-minute masterpiece. Uh, finally, some fine detail to the skin will be necessary. And what we're gonna use for that is, of course, our harmonica, which we will take and outline. I am using a marine band harmonica, but you can use any local harmonica that 
that you own in your collection. But I find the marine band gives the most accurate wrinkles and skin tone to our Mona Lisa. Of course, if you want to add color to the Mona Lisa, you can pick up your local pack of Crayola crayons at any art store around the area. Fantastic. Well, that's our 10 minute masterpiece. Followed along. Uh, feel free to watch this as many times as you like. It may take a while to perfect your process, but I hope you enjoyed this 